The first one I'm going to lead with is actually PE. So PE is professional engineer. So it's like what we're talking about here. Yeah. To clarify too, this is not like process engineer or software engineer slash developer. Those are not the same thing, but people refer to them encapsulated now. So I'm just going to dismiss both of those for a second. But these are people that work on hardware, that do math, that build bridges, that build things, that engineers like that. So certain states allow people to become licensed professional engineers, PEs, through years of documented work experience and by passing the fundamentals of engineering, FE, and PE exams rather than requiring an engineering degree. That's just the truth. And so there are people that can take and sit for the FE and the PE without buying a college degree. Also, to have the documented years of experience and be able to, I'm guessing, I'm sure, actually be able to use the tools that engineers do use as opposed to a lot of engineering grads, I think it would make people very uncomfortable if they met some of these fresh out of college engineering grads who they're saying, I wouldn't feel safe in trusting an engineer that doesn't have a degree. Well, I wouldn't feel safe if I had an engineering student who just graduated and doesn't know how to use Excel. So let's just level with the fact that experience here and then sitting for this exam would make somebody a high quality engineer.